Well, I haven't done a video in a couple weeks, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Basically, I haven't found much in the last couple weeks. You know, last the end of last week and this week, I found a few things, but a couple weeks before that, I haven't found much but a bit of clad. This is probably the best find I've made in oh, at least the last month. It's, it's a pretty nice looking ring. I, it's not marked silver or sterling or 925 or anything, but it does have, find it here, it does have a couple little hallmarks on the outside of the ring. So my guess is, I mean it's reasonably heavy, my guess is it's silver, but it could, I guess it could possibly be white gold. But it's got a lot of stones in it all the way around it, and they're pretty small, so I'm guessing they're probably real. Just because they're so small, it'd be kind of, I guess it'd be kind of a waste to cut glass that tiny. They're almost chips, so. And I did find, yesterday morning, I found a Merc. It's pretty rough on the back, and I whacked it with a digger right there. You can kind of see it. And I also found, I went to my friend Mark's, I was at a few weeks ago, found a nice Indian there. It cleaned up great, full liberty. Real nice one, probably the best Indian I've found so far. It's uh, 1887, just nice. And I found a little bit of junk jewelry too, last Sunday when I went out. Not much, but yesterday morning I did find this one of the little presidential shell gas tokens and this watch fob it says we use the D Laval cream separator obviously that's pretty old since nobody uses cream separators anymore it's I'm sure it's probably nickel it looks like an old nickel that came out of the ground and this heart stopper aluminum same size as a silver dollar. When I dug it, all I could see was just a little bit of the edge. Thought sure I had a silver dollar, but junk. And there you have it. I'm gonna do a quick video on how I clean that, how I clean that Indian head penny up too, and post a video of it also. I'll probably just put it at the end of this one. But there you have it. Good luck. Well, I thought I'd do a quick video, show you guys how I've been cleaning my Indian head pennies up. But I can't tell how good the video is coming out here, but I got some still, still pictures of this. This is a good looking Indian, full liberty, turned out great. Um, I don't have any Indians to clean, but I do have some wheats here. So I picked a couple out and show you some before and after. You probably can't see them, but I'm going to take some actual pictures. I started to clean the center of that one there a little bit already. But they're pretty crusty and pretty green. And I cleaned that little spot so I could find the date on that one. But I'm going to go ahead and use these two for my examples. And normally what I do is... First thing I do is just get them drops of water on them, just wet them down, just leave them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll leave these sit for a few minutes and then I'll get back with you.
Now this is basically what I do. I've just got a box of round toothpicks. After I leave it, just just leave some water on them for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then I just take a little bit of soap. Not much, doesn't take much. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this because I kind of need two hands. Hopefully you can see this. And just get just a touch of soap on the toothpick. And just hold it and scrub it with the toothpick. The wood's actually softer than the copper itself. And it doesn't really take off the patina. It just takes all the crust off. Sometimes I'll do it two or three times, depends on how crusty they are and sometimes you don't get everything out of the cracks from all in all the words but I'll go ahead and finish these up and I'll show you some before and after pictures maybe this will help maybe it won't I've seen people use hot peroxide bath and other things also but this is what works for me in my area most of the wheats and the old wheats and the uh, Indians are in pretty good shape here they're not corroded into the metal itself it's just a real heavy patina and it usually comes right off but I'll finish these up and take some before and after pictures I will say I don't know if I necessarily recommend this for expensive coppers but for me I want my coins to look as nice as possible I don't plan on selling them so the better they look for me the happier I am doesn't take long a couple minutes a couple minutes aside and they're done I'll, I'll take some more stills and post them up Alright, thanks.